Tell us what we need to know. Speak up. Whether it's beneficial information or essential to our lives, scripts or monologues, even poetry or rhymes, give us some food for thought, for we hungry for the drive. And in return, we supply you with feedback. Therefore, you and I both nourish the drive inside of us. Speak now or never. Either that or remain a cloud of dust. Some of us are here to speak. Inspirational quotes to sustain your focus. Keep you from holding pieces, dropping out and off the streets. That's somebody's story, what's yours? Speak now or hold your peace. Uh, it's your boy Dirty. Say your name. Fresh. It's fresh. <coughs> and then we're the Dirty Boy Social. We're two parts of the Dirty Boy Social Club. The nation itself. Oh, shout out to Fat Man. Oh, yeah. Daryl Day and this motherfucker. And Murph. That kind of class. Sky High. See, I told you. Nigga, like, this is gonna be all fucking night doors. You wanna finish doing this at Crab Lakes? We could do that. We could do this. Throwing the livest parties and providing stages to unsigned talent in Atlanta. King Fresh and Dirty Williams are two out of many masterminds of the Dirty Boy Social Club. The organization is 10 years old, representing the best of the brightest of urban underground. Just really trying to showcase like the culture that doesn't have like a voice, that doesn't have like a representation of it. Like there's no one here that's like this is this is the voice in the face of it. This shit is like super awesome. Originally from Los Angeles, California, father and founder Dirty Williams moved to Atlanta back in 2008 to expand the DBSC brand. Before the club was established, Dirty was a vice president for a music publishing house in Los Angeles, where he and his friends, Shell, Boogie, and Stick Tight St. Mike, began the social club. Originally just started out as a party crew in LA, just like running around, going to parties and like slapping people and shit and like just having fun with it and just like shooting it and filming it. Like we just knew a bunch of really cool ass people so we were like, fuck it, let's just start shooting them, what they're doing. Daddy shares with us how DBSC was established. Chilling, party, like me and, and uh, Mike are sitting in the middle of the booth and then there's Boogie and Chell talking to bitches like we're sitting here. Like, they're getting the girls up, trying to get them back. I'm just like, man, I'm drunk, I'm over it. Or are we about to start fucking or not? Because if not, y'all bitches can put the drinks down and goddamn break. Because y'all hoes ain't paying for shit. Fuck away from here. Drinks pussy. One of these got all in indignant and all up in her fucking feelings. And was like, who the fuck are you? And it's like, hi, I'm dirty. She's like, what? And who are these? Like, these are my boys. And, uh... So it's like, you're dirty and these are your boys, what are you, a gang? And said Mike, who said nothing all night, says no, we're a social club. And it's, so then the other white chick over here that Boogie was talking to, I left him, says, so you guys are the dirty boy social club? And when she said that shit, I was like, yes, yes, we are the dirty boy social club. And ever since then, it was like dirty boy social club, DBSC. Dirty Boys Social Club, Dirty Girls Social Club, Dirty Halloween, it's Dirty Halloween 2011. Uh, it's the, reason why, the reason why the Dirty Boys Social Club has been able to do what a lot of other people who do the same thing do is because uh, one, we're not about any one person, two, we're about power and influence, and three, because we're a family, you know, like, we really do care and give a fuck about one another. It was only a matter of time for Dirty to spread the brand in Atlanta. Dirty had a network of friends living in the South, like Dress the Beatman, the creator of Four Kings Entertainment. When Dirty settled in Atlanta, he was introduced to Dress the Beatman's little brother, King Fresh. At first, I'm going to be 100% honest with you, I hated Dirty when I first met him. Why? Dirty's a, he's, a, he's a dick. He is most definitely a dick and his position, and he'll he'll tell you his position with me was I'm the little brother. Boy, do it. He All right. So what's going on, it's your boy Dirty, uh, and I've got something to say. Look, 
there are a lot of you out there that are doing this whole video thing, and a lot of you really shouldn't, because you fucking suck at it. Originally from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Fresh moved to Stone Mountain, Georgia at the age of 11, learning the game from his older brother, Dress the Beat Me. King Fresh treats the indie scene like it's mainstream. Uh, Fresh uh, name came along when I was uh, working with the uh, Yin Yang Twins and the Magicians. Mm -hmm. um, when I first moved back to Atlanta, uh, everybody had a nickname. And my prior nickname was the Candyman, because I used to sell candy. That's cool. That was on fly. And then the King part, that's that's uh, about two years old. Um, that's just me, for me, doing uh, just history on like black culture and like kind of knowing where we come from. <laughs> You know, I just kind of try to keep things fresh, keep things moving, uh, staying creative, staying, you know, close with the people and see what's going on. Dirty was the co-host of George the Beatnik's visual radio show, Smart is the New Cool. That was when Fresh met Dirty. We had this, uh, particular love-hate relationship. I love to give him shit, that's what it was. Yeah. I, love, I love to fucking hate him, that was fucking awesome. Because he's little, and he talks shit, and I was like, oh my god! And he just takes it, all day! It's just crazy, he's like, don't worry about it, dude, I've already heard, like, short shit. Yeah, so I'm like, word! So, like, let me, like, dig in this, let me dig deep in the bucket of short jokes. And what I learned is I, that... I felt like he used to, like, hold on to these jokes. Like, I did. I would, did. Like, think of I would. Them, I would think of them. And, like, oh, it was a show. Right. Like, this in the, I would. The fresh joke box. It was awesome. Fresh became a co-host of Smartest in the Cool. Dirty and Fresh chemistry worked well for radio and television. Despite their love and hate for each other, their mission was to change the Atlanta party scene. My introduction into the Dirty Boy Social Club. So when I started out with them... Uh, it was just a person working the door, and um, it kind of grew from there. Um, going from working the door, and uh, the thing about the Dirty Boy Social Club, if you're in the Dirty Boy Social Club and you have an idea, if you want to do something, everybody has the same opportunities. Fresh chose us after he lost his job with Infinity Car Dealership. He moved in with his brother, and that was a low point for him. Uh, my first time going to Bonfire, Bonfire had been going on maybe a month. We started doing Bonfire. And when we started doing Bonfire, I was like, I need someone to work the door for me. I went out for the first time, and I got there, and I was familiar with everybody, and everybody was like, man, we need somebody to work this parking lot. You know, we got this additional parking lot. Can you work it for us? And I was like, shit, yeah, I need the money. Yeah. And uh, I was like, who do I know who can work the door? Who I know that nobody else knows and can trust. And uh, it was him. He even worked the main gate. Daddy always trusted Fresh when it came down to business because the numbers always came back right. From Bonfire Sundays to B.O.B. Mondays, now known as House Party ATL at the Union, Level Up ATL Tuesdays at the department store, Prep School at MJQ's, Dirty Thirds, and Dirty Hollywood. It's a party every night for the Dirty Boy Social Club. For DBSC, it's not about the money, it's about power and influence. Uh, we do have different branches in, in different places. We have a branch in LA, we have a branch in Tokyo, um, we have some other branches that we're working on. The Dirty Boy Social Club is most definitely growing. Including the Dirty Girl Social Club, fashion events, film, and art. A lot is in store for DBSC. The Dirty Boy Social Club mission is to become the staple in the underground market of entertainment. The only thing I expect to do is put out the very best idea of me and what we're doing that we possibly can. And people like it, people like it. Dirty Boy Social Club really is very much an anti-movement. You know, it's it's anti everything you hear on the radio. You know, it's anti all the cool kids. Like, 
we were the we were the guys who were like, you know, if, like, if you can't appreciate me for who I am right now, then like, I don't have to dress this way, I don't have to listen to this music, I don't have to live in this area, I don't have to do any of those things to impress you. Who the fuck are you? You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm happy. I, I love you, baby. Fuck you. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like, uh, that's, that's real. You know I mean? like, a lot of people don't really take the time to own that shit. You know, that shit is like very, very necessary. You have to like really own yourself. This concludes today's episode of OMT. I'm Fennel D. Wilkins. Until next time. <laughs> So it's like, if you've ever told me, Dirty, I can't do this anymore, I quit, you can get a dick and don't ever expect to like be a part of this shit ever again. Why? Because 
This isn't for quitters. Shout out to Dress the Beat Man. Oh, yeah. huh? That's a shout out. We have to do shout outs. Shout out shout to out. Make Four Kings Entertainment. But shout out to all the dirty girls. Shout out to uh, Leia Love. Actually, her name is Leia Love. I know her name is Leia Love. Everyone calls it Leah, but it's Leia Love. Shout out to Leia Love for coming in and uh, doing some great things with the Dirty Girl Social Club. Gabby, Mo. Shout out to Rochelle. Am I forgetting anybody? Forgetting a lot. Okay. This is why I never do shout outs. I don't even know who the hey. out the dark. I want to give them a shout out. Yes, that's a real person. Um, Don and Trent. Yeah. Shout out to the Dirty Girl Social Club, uh, Morgan and Gaga. And yes, Morgan and Gaga. Aisha. 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 And the new, the new, these are, they're okay, these generation. It's like it's a new generation. So, <laughs> what were the jokes you had for Dirty, though? <laughs> He's fat. <laughs> no, that's it. It's like a fat. <laughs> Like all right, but I'm not. I, it was, but it wasn't that. that. Yeah, it wasn't that. It wasn't back and forth. Back and forth. He just talks yeah. trash. All right, Chilio, fucking everybody that works at the department store. Yeah, department store. Yeah, everybody works at the department. Everybody at the department store. You know who you are. All right, we'll say Fez, Sean. We'll say those two for sure. Yeah. Okay. Because then Luis and Luis. I gave Luis a shout out. Honestly. Yeah, that's true. Because he's you know more already Luis. Um, everybody at Union? At the Union, yes. Uh, Jason, Chico. Shout out to Stacy. Jason's better And Mega Kickball. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Two Out Tribe with Willie Hinn. Yeah, Willie Hinn for sure. And Devin for sure. Devin, and yes. Quit a Dream. Quit a Dream, yes. Um, for sure. Who else? Oh, Bosco. Bring Bosco for damn sure. Ira Xavier. Um, work, work, work crew. Work crew, yeah. Jeremy Avalon. Fuck, see, this is what I told you. DJ Deliver. <laughs> Um, Solomon, yes. DJ Solomon, Jackmaster. Jackmaster Solomon wants me to do that when you do Jackmaster. <laughs> uh, I got a uh, Jackmaster. Shout out to Ricky and TAC out in LA. And I just listen. But the thing is, is that people have learned, like, uh, all right, I talk trash, I talk shit, right? That's just a bait to see if we actually, like, pick up on it. If you decide to come back at it, then it's like, all right, it's a wrap. Yeah, it's, it like, it makes it worse. I just let them have bad. It's bad of jokes, and I just, <laughs> you know. I'll quit. I'll stop eventually. I'll eventually stop. Like, but it's he's he's a true definition of a dick. It's been people dick. like on Instagram, Instagram. You know, like say something back Man. to him, and this is like hours of going in like oh my god can you just please be quiet appreciate it oh and shout out to mr la himself the one and only taz <laughs> you mean shout out to Pumi the poonster and the cool family shout out and to the cool family, family. <laughs> they're cool man yeah, they fuck with this car word um, reminds me of the dirty boys social club for some reason they do they 219 westwood i want to give them a shout out uh especially westwood because he does flyers for us too Hold on, I got a couple more. I got one of them in my little list. Lamont Rudolph. Yeah, this nigga really got oh, He got a list. He listed. I told you. Are you serious? I told you. Shout out this to is your fault. It is my fault. It's cool. Shout out to Jeff McBee Rain. So Hell basically, this whole, this whole thing. Smurf World. Was... Shout out to them. Shout out to Garcia of Vegas, man. <laughs> he is probably like the wildest. Vegas, yeah. The wildest. Yeah, yeah he's the wildest of the wild ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out to Mitch and Scott on the back end, like helping us out and getting the bonfire space back together. Can't do it without you. This motherfucker cat just trying. And those people. Like, what about Ooh, Chris? Chris, 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 Chris Moore, Rob, Kenny Haas. I mean, yes. Travis Glover. Shout out to Travis, Travis Glover. It's going to happen all the time. Fucking Trinidad James. Fucking Trio. Oh, yeah. yeah. Shout See? out to Trio. the whole bus. Then, this, then we do the same thing for the Tokyo. What about the talk? To talk to Damn. Him. Okay. And then, so, uh, fucking Scott Poplar. Out of Tokyo. And the Dirty Girl Social Club, Tokyo, and all the names that I can't pronounce because they're Japanese. <laughs> and then, oh, shout out to Mr. Play in London, who does shit with us out there in London, represent the Dirty Girl Social Club in London. Uh, shout out to Stimulus, and or DJ Stim. Uh, he runs Dirty Thirds in Germany and, what's the other one? Prague, or Czechoslovakia, where they are. Um, Oh, shout out to Rodney D and in, in, in Atlanta, in Australia, in Sydney, on what's the name of the radio station? Anyways, Rodney's Block Party. It's on the radio station every day. He shouts out the Dirty Boy Social Club, shows us love. It's part of crew, sends us pictures and shit. It's always a lot of fun. Um, 
think that's it. Shout out Pop ATL. We need some shirts. See, you keep doing this shit, bro. You we keep, coming, you keep made, coming up with tank tops. All we're doing at this point is just arguing about. <laughs> but it's just like that, that. We just had a conversation about getting some shirts. Man. Shirts. We need more shirts. Shout out to the person that won this shirt. Yeah, Anything else y'all like to say to the world? Nah, well, first I want to say hi and thanks to the to the creator for helping us create all this beautiful stuff. And thank you for all the people that support us. You know. Low key, high key, left, right, whatever. If you ever had anything to do with us or anything that we've done, uh, past, present, and future, we appreciate y'all. Is that what I said? Do you feel cold in the morning? <laughs> <laughs>